most days, Pastor Jay Voorhees gets started so early, he shows up to work before the sun does. I usually try to be here at the church by 7 and uh, just to get things ready and make sure my head's in the right place. After 23 years of ministry, you learn to start early. You have a good week. We did. Good deal. Thank it's good you. to see you. Roy, you doing okay? I'm doing okay. okay. Time enough to feel the warmth. Hi. How are you? He's come to know. Good. Life okay? I can't ask for better. Okay, well then that's good. Well, good morning, everybody. So good to see you here this morning. Time enough, Jay says to notice something else. Uh, folks will talk about coming to church and feeling uh, alone in the midst of a worship service. That's just wrong, and we don't believe in that. So Jay took it upon himself. We are called to be together. To spread that warmth. Onto frozen ground. So gentlemen, whose idea was this? I don't know. <laughs> I come up and manage me. It's a little before 8 a.m. I don't look very pastoral in this, but it's warm. During what turned out to be Nashville's biggest winter storm of the year. Significant snowfall happening all across Middle Tennessee today. Not exactly what Jay had in mind when he came up with an idea at the Hills of Calvary Memorial Park. This is a little unique. We've never done it in the snowstorm, but, um, but I'm honored and happy to be here. Beneath a blanket of white, far removed from the walls of the City Road Chapel United Methodist Church, lie the graves of Nashville's indigent burial program. For years, the city has offered a free casket and plot at one of its cemeteries for those who can't afford to pay or for those without any family to claim them. What's not included? someone to say something about them at their burial. I confess, I looked, at, looked around at these other burials and there was no one there, there was no one representing. It was these people were absolutely alone in their death. And that was something Jay and his clergy team say they couldn't stand for, no matter what. We just think that for Nashvillians of all types, that everybody deserves to have somebody at their funeral. One of the burials we're doing today is um, somebody that I actually knew who had been a part of our church. He was a formerly homeless man. This is the 915. Miss Holloway. Okay, we need to go feet first. Which way we got? He was a special person for us. Got it? All right. For five months now, burials of those without a family of their own no longer end with just these words. All right, fellas, lift it up. Thanks to fellow pastor James Cole and the Call the Name program Jay started, today they end with these ones. Friends, we gather today to remember the life of Jimmy Holloway, our neighbor and resident of our city. We come today to call out his name, remembering him on behalf of all who knew and loved him. This body we commit to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May God's perpetual life be found in this place and may Jimmy's name never be forgotten. Amen. Amen. Everyone, Jay says, deserves a final moment. Somewhere along the line, somebody loved him. Somewhere along the line, they brought joy to someone. Somewhere along the line, they were part of our society. So we think it's important to go ahead and acknowledge them and, uh, and to be with them. 
they all have names here, even if sometimes they're just placeholders. But now... It's an honor to be here with you all, and you all are in our prayers. They have a voice, too. May this place be a place of quiet rest, free from pain and turmoil, and may Robert be surrounded by love and light. Words of kindness before moving on to the next one. I'm so sorry for your loss, my friends. Take, Take care. care. Jay knows there will always be a next one. It's a sad story in that there are people that are abandoned, that have no one to be with them. But in a place that can feel so cold, Jay and his team crew early one January morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yes, sir. There can be such good in a goodbye. There are people in this community that love their neighbors to the point that they're willing to get up early in the morning and trek out in the snow to say, we loved you and we're here with you. That's the good part of it. With photojournalist Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.